there, thanks for turning down my road. If this is your first time here, my name's Carl. My little brother and I both work for local farmers full time, but we both also farm together with our cattle herd and our hay operation. Everybody's involved, from the smallest to the biggest. If you don't have the joy of farming yourself, I'd love to help you experience it through this channel. Whatever your background, you found the right place. This is Dodge Brothers Farm and Ranch. It's a beautiful, crisp winter morning. We're gonna haul some corn to town. I just got done doing chores. I smell like hogs right now, so let's go fire up the semi so it can warm up while I'm taking a shower. Now I had this truck plugged in last night. It wasn't super cold, but I like to do it anytime I know I'm gonna use the truck. It's really easy to plug that block heater in. And I just feel a lot better about starting the day with a warm engine. It's easier for the oil to flow where it needs to when you start it up. And it's just easier on everything with the engine overall to have it sort of warm before you start it. All right, let's check the oil and fire it up. Should be nice and toasty by the time I get out of the shower and I'm ready to load. All cleaned up. Almost forgot, we're gonna need a tractor to run the auger to load the truck with. So I gotta get that out first. see the laziest thing in the world I'm almost embarrassed about this but it's pretty cool so this is the remote control all I got to do is push open and look at this there goes the tarp rolling itself open automatically now it's not very fast but it is pretty darn easy that's for sure All right, I'd say we're positioned pretty well, so time to load the truck. So I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wonder why I didn't check the tires. I did check the tires, I just forgot to film it because I was freezing my fingers off. It's very important to make sure all your tires are inflated properly on a semi, especially the tires that are right next to each other bolted together on a hub. Because if you've got one that's really low and one that's pumped all the way up, they're really working against each other. That's why when you get a flat tire on a dual axle on a semi or a pickup, you really, if you're gonna replace a tire, you've gotta replace both of them on the hub that are bolted together. So anyway, I checked the tires, we're loading. This is the easy part, sitting here in a warm truck, waiting for the truck to get full. Uh, I guess the only hard part of it is not running the truck over. It'd be easy to take a little nap in here since it's warm. Better pay attention.
So I just pulled forward. I like to make two piles in the front and then I pull all the way to the back. And then there's an air gauge on the back of the trailer that I can watch to try to figure out how heavy my truck is getting. All right, we're on to the back. So as soon as I get a good pile there, I'll back up and let it start making another small pile and we'll take a look at the air gauge on the trailer. And when it gets up to about 74, I know I'm full. trucks here ahead of me so it's gonna be a little bit of a wait we've got a pretty serious problem the uh, the remote for the tarp the battery seems to be dead isn't that the worst now I'm gonna have to get out and push the button outside Boy, that was hard. Well, there's not a lot of trucks. This shouldn't be too bad. Well, it certainly took a lot longer down there this time than I thought it was going to. I think what I'm gonna do when I get back is load the truck so that it's ready to go first thing in the morning because we're gonna have a big snowstorm coming through tomorrow. I've only got one more load left to haul and I kind of want to get it down the road and get back before this storm starts. So if I get the truck loaded tonight, get it back to the shed, plug the block heater in, everything will be nice first thing in the morning. I can get a really good early start headed down there with the last load of the year. Now comes my favorite part of trucking, backing this truck in the dark into a shed with no lights in it, using these two tractors lights as shed lights. Here we go.
see why a lot of guys make these early morning runs. I mean, there's nobody else on the road. That's actually kind of nice. that all of the corn that's been sold for the year 2020 has been delivered I have learned a lot in my first couple weeks of trucking one thing that I've learned is that the men and women that drive these trucks are pretty cool uh, you're out on the road you've got your CB radio you can hear what everybody's talking about semi drivers are also really good about blocking traffic for other semi drivers and trying to let them onto the highway it's really hard to get on and off the interstate with one of these big trucks especially when you're loaded Cars in the city don't really pay much mind to semis and they'll try to whip around you on the right side while you're trying to get over and get off. Or they'll try to jump around you on the left side while you're trying to merge onto the highway. And it takes a really long time to get up to speed and to get slowed down with one of these things when you're weighing over 80,000 pounds. Or I mean, not over, right? Nobody's ever over 80,000 pounds. Right at 80,000 pounds. But anyway, yeah, I mean, if you're driving on the highway in a town somewhere and and you see semis getting on and off, give them plenty of room. And another cool thing that truckers do is when you're trying to merge onto the highway and they're giving you room to get in, as soon as you have enough clearance to get over in front of them, they'll flip their bright lights at you really quick to let you know that you've got room to get in. Because believe it or not, when you're looking all the way to the back of a 42 foot long trailer, it's not always super obvious if the back of your trailer is past the front of that truck or not. So it's really cool that most of these guys will give you a signal either with their headlights or on the radio and let you know, hey, you got room to get in. Anyway, the moral of the story is truckers are really great people and all of the rest of us motorists when we're in our cars need to be really mindful of how hard it is to get on and off the highway with these things and give these guys plenty of room and courtesy to get it done. Yes, if it bothers you that I didn't park the truck straight, this is the reason. We need to have room to get in and out this door with all of our pickups. So parking the truck like that gives plenty of extra room to get in and out this nice roll up door. I don't know about you, but it kind of bothers me when things aren't parked straight. So I figured I'd better explain that one. Hey Bob, how's it going? Look, it's Bob. He didn't get to ride to town with me this morning. Maybe next time, huh Bob? As always, thanks for riding along this week. We'll see you next time.